So, hello everyone. I'm Benjamin, and here's Christian. And uh, we are the 42 team. Um, well, and we'll explain that. Um, so, hello. That's Christian and I. Um, so, what's so cool about Cloud Foundry? There's this haiku. Here's my source code. Run it on a cloud for me. I do not care how. Um, well, the problem is that actually when you push an app, you don't, don't only, soon you don't only uh, need to push that app. You end up writing a pipeline so that you, push, you can push your code to GitHub or, or for example, and the, um, the pipeline is responsible for actually deploying to Cloud Foundry. And uh, soon you get to support chain environments like staging, pre-prod, prod, and etc. Demo, dev, integration. Um, that's where the user experience is missing something. For uh, and our idea is to provide that user experience as a developer for creating a pipeline right from the start. Oh well, actually, no. We we start pushing it up, and then we augment that with the pipeline. Um, and later on, so we add a, uh, we can add several uh, chain environments. We start with a single one, and we can add some more um, for permitting to staging, from staging to prod. So, um, which, uh, because making the CI CD around your app is, um, uh, time that developers don't want to spend. And uh, in the end, it's quite always the same. You have an app, it's easy as CFUSH, so why would it be that complicated uh, to run a pipeline, create a pipeline around that? Let's do it um, a commodity. Um, I don't need to re reevaluate all the CI CD tools around there. And should I care actually which one I'm using? So it's commodity. Let's go commodity for, with this. Um, which gives us here is my code repo. Deliver it on the cloud for me. I do not care how. And um, so instead of having build packs uh, for supporting many uh, application languages, we would have kind of pipeline packs. Which in who infer which pipeline to instantiate uh, from the code uh, and the existing build pack and app. Demo time. Yeah, that's for me. So let's get back to our code. So, for example, um, <coughs> I have. Yeah, yeah, surely, surely. Um, for example, I fear the Spring Music app. All we know, all people of us know it, or most of it. It's a simple Spring Boot application for demo examples, which is able to push, uh, been pushed to the cloud. There is an access, uh, existing manifest file, um, so you can easily push that by building it uh, and putting on your Cloud Foundry installation. So. What we're now doing is exactly that thing. So what we're doing is I uh, look into where I'm heading. So I'm uh, at some point of uh, site. So I'm switching now the space to, um, let's have a look. So I'm switching to the demo space. So I have your apps running. I have the Spring Music app. Um, I already pushed that. Um, I'm now delete the Spring Music app. Yes, I want to. It's gone. And I'm in the uh, repository where the Spring Music app is. I push it, and I'm happy. Because now my app is pushed to Cloud Foundry. 
there's a route attached in it, I don't have to care. That's our first IQ we had. So that's what we all know. But now I have to face, I pushed it, I made my code, I have a f working version, now I have to have my, uh, my continuous delivery pipeline for my developers. So I'm at a prototype stage and now I want to get really um, on with my working as a developer. So now it, the, the fun starts, but normally I have to come up with a prototype of my Conquers or Jenkins or whatever pipeline. And I have to make some uh, things like um, writing um, some kind of description for that pipeline. And often it's the same thing. I mean, how often have I copy pasted code from an old pipeline to a new one and then came up, oh, I forgot to change that property. I, I mean, I, read, I named the app there, but not there. Uh, I ch didn't change that stuff. So what I really want to do is that app being pushed by my pipeline in the first place. So what I do is, well, what we did is we added uh, an, a wrapper around for first start, a wrapper around the, in, in our MVP, a wrapper around the CFCLI, which should be later on part of the CFCLI or of the plugin, and then doing the stuff for, for me. So, um, so, what I'm now doing is calling that and saying, um, I want a careless deployment. How are we doing that? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm careless deploy. Ah, I have to look it up. Wait, it's a demo. Happens. Callister. Ah. Delivery. I want to call this delivery to the cloud. Okay, I have to provide that name. Cool. Let's start with that. So I want to call this delivery my spring music app. Oh, I have a pipeline. Cool. Let's have a look. Oh, cool, there's a pipeline. Let's start that. Okay, I didn't change something on the code, so I have to start it by hand, first place. As well as it is already triggered by the code repository. Um, where does the CLI get that from? I'm in the codes repository. I checked out the code locally, so my CLI can read that information to get, oh, there's the code, I get that there. Um, in a more productive environment, later on, in a, a later MVP, you maybe want to add the, um, the agent for the, the client's uh, ID of, that, um, of your uh, CICD platform part um, into the repository, so it has access to private repository, but for the here it's okay. Um, so we're assuming now it's a public repo accessible repository, and now we're pushing um, the code. What we're doing here is with, the, with that part, that task is manage CF, is um, accessing the, uh, the manifest file um, of the pushed app by um, using CF create app manifest, reading it, um, and adding that to the pipeline. So we are targeting that app and saying, I want to that thing be provided later on by the pipeline. The idea is that we know already quite a lot about the apps, so we can reuse that information to create the pipeline. So if your app was connected to a service, would it find that out? It would find that service because the, the service already bind to that, ser to, that IP, uh, uh, to that thing. It's part of the manifest. The, the Great app manifest is updated to the state of what you pushed for that app. So we have the actual version of that pushed app, how it is. is. So Even I push first before I use your yeah, <laughs> it's it's the idea. You may start with an with an POC. So we have a proof of concept. You are okay with that? It's a CF push in, uh, idea. Maybe you could change that later on if it's. I mean, it's a first draft of our idea. So okay. 
Uh, I don't have to look. I don't know. It's taking some time. The server's in, in France, so. <laughs> it's, it's my infrastructure. <laughs> um, it may take some time. Uh, uh, and by the way, there's a there's a eye blink, uh, because um, the CF is uh, the easy foundry um, that was the, the point in uh, one year and a half ago at the Hataka. Ah, oh, but it's going on. So. <laughs> it was not the managed CF. It's it's the part where we're pulling the the stuff. Now we're. Okay. It's a little bit slow today, yes. Yeah. Um, let's t step a look back. What would be the next step? We assume that the pipeline will work. We will uh, look after that later. What would be the next step in my development cycle? I pushed several versions now of my application with that pipeline. Um, okay. Now product management says, you're right on the spot. We want to go to production. Shit. To production. I need another version of my pipeline. I have to extend it. Do I need a new pipeline for production, or do I ex extend the pipeline with a new stage? Or what should I do? Oh, more copy and paste fun. Yes. <laughs> or I simply use CF. Um, I know the short version already, um, but I have to look up the version. What? Ah, yeah. I want to spin up production. <laughs> Catchy. Spin up prod. It's the wrapper. And. Ah, it's a wrapper, you're right. I'm. Um, wait for it. Spin up prod. Okay, what have I do? Uh, what have I do to do? Okay, I need a different route than for development. That's for sure. Um, I maybe want to go to another organization or another space. Okay, and what else? Oh, that's all cool. It's all duplicating the stuff I wanted to have and then running that. Cool. Let's try that. Let's have a look first if the power plant is through. Ah, uh, we fetched the manifest. It's pushing the app now. Okay, the CI is a little bit slow today. Let's prepare the command. We also did that with shorties because we are lazy developers and don't want to tip that. So we are trying to make a new route. Uh, maybe test at, you have to help me if I d get it wrong. Easy, Easy foundry, prototype. the prototype, or let's na name it prod, because it's production. Yes. Easy foundry prototype it. Yeah. Okay. And the, uh, the app name. Don't forget the app name. Space. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Maybe we push it to prod. But I think I do that there because I know what I'm doing now. So let's have a look. Did we push the app now? Cool. Never was so slow. Ah, no, it starts. Mm. That's the problem with demo environments, <laughs> resources. So this is the push of our app with a fetched manifest. The first call we, we started. Now it pushed the app. And like you see, it's got all the information about the stack, the routes we had before and so on, and it's re-pushing that app, really. So we, we are waiting for this to finish, because the idea of change and environments is that the app first is first deployed to the first environment, and then if this succeeds, it, it can be promoted to the next one. So um, 
Yeah, it goes. We have to respect yeah. that process. That's and it, it, and it's also that we exactly with the second pipeline we get that commit which worked in production. So we are referencing now the version which works in that uh, in that staging context. We want that version of code be uh, pushed to production, and it's done. Yeah. Cool. Now we can start with our production. Is the space pod existing already? Yeah, I did that. Okay. okay, it's there. Now we have a new pipeline which pushes our code to production. I mean, it's a copy of the old one. It's the same, um, nearly it's, it's nearly the same um, build, it's the same build, uh, pipeline build pack. Version, so it's a, a same pipeline pack uh, with a little bit of difference because it now's oh I'm I'm on a uh, I'm a staged version of the of the other one, so if I start that, um, t minus s prod cfh cf delete Spring music, yes, CFA, no apps, in prod. It's three images. <laughs> Already runs. Um, the time is the download of the Docker image for the concourse workers, because we want to have some CLI tools in that, because it's part of the pack. And we did that in the background because we assume in that case, the CI CD tool should be part of the platform. So it knows where to target, and depending on your, um, your user token for Cloud Foundry, it knows which space, so you, it knows which team you are in. So you, uh, essentially, your, your pipeline has to go to your team space. So that should be something which is, is handed in. But we maybe could do that with, a, with an authentication in the CLI, so it could be a command to, to go to a different target. Um, I mean, it's a rough draft, yeah? In the background, it's bash at the moment, which runs mm. fly CLI. What would be fantastic would be to leverage a single authentication, a GitHub authentication, so that I have a GitHub account, and magically I can push to C, uh, the CI and CF uh, with that authentication. Or some under SS, uh, another SSO of my company or something. So I don't want to care. I'm a developer. The platform knows what I want to do. Cool. Yeah. So after this, do you have more? Or is it just basically this? It's the spring app in the prod. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to wrap up with the presentation? Yeah, we can do that. Mm -hmm. Sure. We can do that. So. So we have the demo. What's beyond that? Um, what, you, what we are talking about much is about how is Kubernetes and Cloud Foundry and functions going together. But from a developer's perspective, it shouldn't be that different. I mean, you have to bring up your, your app to Cloud Foundry. You have to bring up your containers to Kubernetes. You have to bring up your functions to your functions, uh, service, whatever. But after that, for all of these things, you have pipelines. So I'm starting, not we have started with a pushed app, but we could also start with a pushed container to Kubernetes or pushed function to our function service, and then say, wrap that up and deliver it for me in a pipeline and look up, uh, up what you want, uh, what you have to do for that for me. And so we could have this overall experience, which could be Cloud Foundry. So it doesn't depend on where to push my stuff, I only have my source code, I want to have it pushed and then going. And have a pipeline user, new pipeline user experience from that. Um, and after that, have an overview of my microservices, I push to maybe different things, maybe I added different applications to the same pipeline by my commands and say, 
all these things come up together. I want to have that in one pipeline, and it bootstraps them and then prints me out the, the things, which we are nearly to your idea, I think. So that could be something which comes out of it at the end. So we have an overall um, full stack feeling with the same painless interaction. And one thanks to Dr. Jules for that because he came up with the idea in the unconference two days ago. So this would be the answer to the ultimate question of life and the universe and everything. And that's why we call Team 42. <laughs>